warning everyone, yesterday we saw a stock market decline for two main reasons. First, Israel said that they would respond to the Iranian attack over the weekend. So that put some fear in the markets yesterday and uh, stock markets declined across the board. Uh, however, the good news today is that uh, the U.S., at least according to the U.S., saying that the uh, Israeli response to the Iranian attacks on the weekend will be limited, so that might help the markets today. But uh, that information wasn't out yesterday, so the markets were overreacting to the fears of how Israel would react and if they would overreact. So that caused the markets to decline yesterday. And then another reason why the markets declined yesterday was retail sales came out stronger than estimated at 0.7% increase month over month compared to 0.4% estimated. And then the control group, which is X uh, cars and, um, and gas, that came out hotter than estimated at 1.1% compared to the 0.4% estimated. This shows underlying strength in the economy, the fact that the consumer is strong and consumer spending takes about 66% uh, of uh, GDP. And if consumers are spending this much, this will, like, this will likely feed into stronger GDP, which will decrease the chances of Fed rate cuts this year. And the markets would prefer to see more rate cuts and more accommodative policy. So the fact that that happened led the markets to decline. And look, part of the strong retail sales data was simply for the fact of inflation and higher prices and consumers spending more money. But some of that is also due to underlying demand. So those two factors between stronger than expected retail sales doubting uh, the magnitude of Federal Reserve rate cuts and uh, the possibility of Israel responding to um, Iran's attack from the weekend uh, yesterday were the main reasons why the market declined yesterday. But luckily right now, um, it seems like the Israeli attack might be maybe limited. Obviously, we have to see. Um, let's see how the day goes today.